We're launching something new this morning. It's a special series called Boys Changing the World. Yeah, you might remember back in the fall, we were spotlighting girls. We did a Girls Changing the World series, and that got us thinking, how about the boys? It's their turn now. So we'll start this morning with a 16-year-old pianist who is already making his mark in music. Stuff like that. <laughs> That's a fun <laughs> one to play. Oh, yeah. 16 year old musical prodigy Matthew Whitaker playing a piece he wrote for his first album, Out of the Box. His music is magical, prolific on the piano, determined on drums, and connected with the community on the organ at his local church. Did we mention that Matthew was born blind? He was a preemie, weighing one pound, 11 ounces, and it was touch and go at first. I remember holding it in my palm, my hand, and I remember the doctors telling us that there's less than 50% chance that your son is gonna make it. When he was born, I didn't know what kind of life you know, he would lead. So when I see Matt play, I always go back to that day. And then I see the joy in him. I see the joy in the folks that are watching him. It's like God answered my prayer. He just is so full of life. And his life is full. From performing all over the world to endorsement deals and owning his own publishing company, it's easy to forget he's only 16. Yeah. Matt's first big break came at the age of nine, winning amateur night at the Apollo. Here we are at the Apollo. Yeah. Do you remember when you realized, hey, I might have a gift? Well, I mean, I taught myself how to play 20th Central World of Star when I was three years old. So when you were learning classical as mm -hmm. a little boy, yeah, when I was five, do you remember what your like your first really good yeah. classical piece? Yeah. So um, my classical teacher was like this. Go down here. Come down here. Like and she's teaching you not just the sounds, but the distance, the feel. Yep. Yep. Exactly. The, the distance, the feel of everything. Do you have a favorite classical piece? I really love Cacciatore in terms of how really energy he has. A lot of people compare you to Stevie Wonder. There's really only one Stevie. I mean, I mean <laughs> yeah. it, it's, it's an honor to be compared to him, but there's really only one Stevie. I Do you have it. a favorite Stevie song? Ooh, I, I love a lot of Stevie songs. Yeah. Um, Music is Matthew's language, with each emotion striking a chord. Okay, you're on stage, you're playing, right. and you feel excited. Oh, yeah. What, do you, what would you play? You know, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you're bored for a um, quiet time. Oh, okay. We're just relaxing. I could listen to that all day. <laughs> If you hear a cell phone go off in a performance, oh, what do you do? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's I, the I, best. I know. I heard all your best. secrets. Matt's okay. sense of humor is part of his charm. We tickled the ivories with a little heart and soul. It's not just his musical gift. He's so loving and kind. Yeah, he's special. To yeah. us. And I always say he loves music, but he loves people more, and music is just what makes him connect to other people. He believes that everybody walks around with a smile on their face. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Whitaker. We've always told Matt not to allow his blindness to stop him from doing anything. I always feel the music when I'm playing. And I always love inspiring people and make the audience feel good when I'm, you know, when I'm performing. Uh, it just feels really amazing. 
I mean, he's extraordinary. How about it? Uh, and his father smart. told me the sweetest thing. He says, Matthew just assumes the whole world, everyone he meets, they're smiling at him. Yeah. Oh. And that he's is right. the reason why he's <laughs> right. so full he's of right. love. And they are.